It's a nice, cool, breezy day, and it was fairly quiet here at Walmart. Every once in a while, a truck would pull in or something loud would go by, but other than that, it was okay. We are going to go ahead and head to the casino, which is about 10 miles from here. Mostly everybody has left. Um, they had a few things to do. Uh, Linda's going to follow me over to the casino. You did not even stop at that stoplight <laughs> or a stop sign. Take the next left onto Olava Way Northwest, then use the right two lanes to turn right onto Washington 305 South. Thank you, Beverly. RV overnight parking area only register at hotel desk. I gotta call and see if it's um, charged or what it is. Hello. Look who we found! Hello! Hello! <laughs> As you guys were living in your RVs, we were living in luxury in the hotel. <laughs> right. So they get to stay here at the hotel. And um, this actually, they don't allow um, overnighting in their parking lot. Only, um, they do have an RV park with limited um, spaces. Not all of us can fit here. So, um, we're going to go about 38 miles, which is seven seaters. And they are RV friendly and allow overnighting in their parking lot. And they're a bigger casino with a restaurant. So, that's probably going to work for us. So, we're going to get on the road. Yay! Onward bound! <laughs> There's Scott and Terry in front of me. They're going to be heading home. And then they're going to meet us on Sunday for Randy's birthday. Oh, hilly. So pretty through here. I don't know if you can see up ahead. It's the Olympic Mountains. That's what we're going to be going around. Getting on. on Washington 104 West for five miles. Thank you. Mm, what's going on? Oh, mail person. Deliver that mail. Deliver it. Looks like some signs of fall. What does it say? Port Gamble. Established in 1853. Ooh, it's pretty through here. Some of the leaves are starting to change already and dry out. There's a museum, visitor parking info, post office. Oh, this is beautiful. For some reason, I remember this. I think I've been here. Because I remember that area there. Port Gamble, museum, shops, antiques. Hmm. We have about 30 miles till our destination. This kind of reminds me of the New England area a little bit, just the way that looked. West is coming up, Port Townsend. Turn right to stay on Washington 104 West. And Port Angeles. I think we have 
and uh, cross over the bridge. Port Lidlow, next right. Take the next right to stay on Washington 104 West. There's a park and ride. Traffic. Bridge closed when flashing. Severe side wind ahead when flashing. Oh, it's a drawbridge. Ooh, look at all this. Isn't that beautiful? You have the Olympic Mountains to the left over there. all the way over. Beautiful view of the water. I guess this is where the bridge lifts here. Somewhere around here. Jefferson County. We made it to the casino safe and sound. I already went inside and checked. We are allowed to stay here for 72 hours, which is three days. And that'll work out perfect because Randy's birthday is Sunday. So our leaving date is Monday. And then that means Terry and Scott can still meet up with us. And also Rady and Michelle are supposed to come and meet us probably tomorrow. I did check out the restaurant and it looked good. I'm not sure if they sell any seafood and that's what Randy's wanting for his birthday so we will see. When I was coming here I did talk more but I put my mic on the dash instead of mounting it on my camera and it was getting a clicking sound every time I went over a bump so you could barely understand what I was saying and it was just a bit annoying so I just showed y'all the view and didn't really get to show you um, or talk so I mean it is what it is so but anyways back to the casino like I said it's 72 hours parking that they allow you you do have to go in and register your vehicle and give them your license plate number but I think that's cool um, at least they allow you unlike the last place they didn't allow you to stay there and um, there is free hookups in certain spots not every spot has hookups but Randy was able to plug in because he doesn't have power yet or solar set up on his rig so that was cool I didn't need to plug in because I obviously have um, solar and power. So, yeah, it was good that Randy was able to plug in. I'm excited for Randy's birthday. Like I said, he does want seafood, so if they don't have seafood, we might find somewhere else to um, eat at. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there. Mwah. Bye for now. <laughs>